Hello dear guys, look at this beautiful flower. I'm so excited to make a ring out of this four petal beautiful shape. And as you could see, there are four beads inside that you could choose any other color and sizes. It could be both pendant or earring or even ring as today's tutorial. Okay, I choose 0.8 wire as the main structure and my main wire for the ring. And first, we need to determine the ring size. There are several ways, but one of the easiest ways that I use is to wrap a 0.3 or 0.4 wire all around uh, the finger that you consider and open it up just like this and this is spread it part is the area that you need for your ring size okay I'm going to make it double let's see how Determine the size, double of this length. Okay, here I make a sign, just a little sign. And why am I doing this? You know, uh, why did I duplicate the length? Because we are going to make a shape just like this. Look at this. These are two rings that is attached via this part. So, this length is used to uh, this part. Now we need to bend this wire from this part that we just determined like this. Okay. Now one by one we need to make bends. Just the bends that are similar. You could make signs with a um, you know pen or something like that. But some tools like this have this area that we could use it to have same distances. So I put my tool here and make a bend like this. And again, I repeat this just like this. And another time to make this shape. Okay. Now we need to bend it back here. You know, this is one of our petals. And now I need to squeeze it just like this and make the other petal. Okay, let me open it up so that I could use my tool in between. Bend it first, then again, and another one. So for every petal, we need four bends and the last one. And we continue that as we desire. And I'm going to make a four petal. So I repeat this process four times. Now, when you have finished making the petals, it's the time to cut this piece out. You know, it's like a pin here and uh, we need to bend it back. So let's do cut it out first. After that, we need to make some fixing so that all the four petals could be as similar as each other. Then we need to bend this part back so that shape is closed. Just like this. We could make a little 
coil here to close this part. At this point, we need to make a bend in the middle of this length. So put your round nose pliers and just make a bend here. We need this part to touch the flower. Now throw this part in this flower and then make a bend just like here and close this part. We have this shape. Now we need to wrap it all around your mandrel or any other cylindrical shape at the point that you had signed your finger size. Just like this. Okay, let's test it out. It's just like this, you know, in this model, uh, the flower is not in the middle and not in the center, just like this type. There is a gap here. You could see it. A gap is just here. If you want to put it at the center of your ring and the uh, finger, you should make uh, this length a little bigger and uh, so that it could place at the middle and in the center. So now it's the time to put these uh, little beads in the middle of this petal shape. Okay. You could use any uh, color sizes and shapes as you desire. I have chosen my white crystals just like this. I need four of them in this size and now for the weaving and attaching these beads need a point three wire. Do you remember what is the first step to weaving? Well, yes, it's to make a knot here. Make a bend just like this, like a U shape here. And then squeeze it. Till you make a tie like this. Wrap this part all around your wire again so that it would be firm enough. To fasten it up, throw your point for wire just like this, you know, diagonal between all the petals. This is the first move and the second should be like this and rotate it back. Again, rotate it. Another diagonal move and something like this is enough. Okay, we repeat this several times and squeeze it so that it wouldn't be loose. Now in this point, we need to insert beads. The first one, second one. 
third one and the last one okay now bend them just like this to fasten them up just like this not exactly inside all around the beads it reminds me a pigeon nest and these are the eggs <laughs> isn't it beautiful and this is it yeah it's almost ready, but uh, this is the part that is missing. Just make it all right and put it inside the shape. And always remember, don't put any edges sharp. Just close it. This beautiful ring is almost ready. Just you could make the petals a little concave. It would be more beautiful and delicate, just like this. No, this could be more realistic. with your round nose pliers make it concave like this and ta-da this is your very beautiful ring i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make this beautiful ring and enjoy it bye bye